Okay, listen. It's gonna turn out to be a smashing killer album. I'm calling three Grammy nominations. One for the best album produced, two for the best producer on wheels, and three for the best collab featuring me and the other 60 of us. All of us, baby. I'm gonna turn this off again. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are on day four. Four of tour. We're actually in Leeds, second location, um, but what we're gonna do now is a rewind back to when I left home. It was actually really weird to leave family behind because although I'm in the UK for a whole month, it actually dawned on me that I'm not going back to my family home for six months. This is final goodbyes, guys. Really sad. Look how sad they look. I'm sad as well. This is it. The tour begins. First location was in York. I was meeting an old friend. I actually went to university with this guy, Dave. David! <laughs> Hello, mate. Look How are at you? this. This is quality. <laughs> had the best time. Couldn't have asked for a better first guest on the bus. In fact, I got a message from Dave last night. He said, hey George, just wanted to say thank you so much for the last couple of days. And I was made up that you met the family at the gig too. He took me to a gig in the evening. It was really cool. The whole thing has really given me some momentum to get playing even more. And that makes me so happy because like, this is my goal of the whole thing. It's to put musicians on a pedestal to just go and do their own thing and feel like confident enough to go out and do their own thing. The day after Dave was with me, I had a friend called Lewis who came, Lewis Cam and we wrote lyrics and finished a song and we tracked the vocal and it sounds absolutely beautiful. Guys, this is this is, this is Lewis. We've known each other for a little while. We did a gig together. Got to know each other through that, always followed each other since. And then I put up this video clip. And then Lewis replied and responded and he'd written like a whole verse to it and performed it. So this is what he sent me. Cause it's hard to need and I literally then couldn't deny him coming on the bus. We're gonna carry on writing the song that Lewis has already written, some some too. And I don't know if I should take a phone Cause I'm not the kind of guy to risk it all we road tripped to Leeds, where we are right now in Round Hay Park, really beautiful park. We couldn't resist heading out for a walk. I'm going down to a place by the river. We can dance by the sycamore tree. We all have the place. We're in Leeds, absolutely freezing, but uh, the sun keeps coming out every now and then. And the thing I love about hitting the road already, like we're day three, this is the inspiration, these kind of places. So we've come for a walk, a little bit of headspace, and then we're gonna go back, record some vocals. But I mean, guys, inspiration. I've never, never had this before. It's usually been in my bedroom, so coming out and having the view, it's lovely. Going out, just, just huge inspiration, actually. What's it like for, in terms of headspace, like writing lyrics, music? What does being in the nature change? It clears your head completely, for me anyway, it clears my head. Just standing outside the bus this morning and just thinking of all the loads of different stuff and just lyrics coming straight to me and because I'm away from home and from what I'm, what I'm used to and just experiencing just completely isolation, it's lovely. We were in a world. We right. Update time for those of you that have been watching the vlog for a little while. We were talking about money and the financial side of doing this tour and it's not really making any cash and I had to make the big and bold decision to sell my car but just an update on the car, I've had no interest and I have no idea why. It was up on Auto Trader for like two weeks. I got on the phone to their team and even they were saying like, your ads had so much more views than we would expect. But I've put it on Facebook Marketplace. I've dropped the price a little bit reluctantly. So if any of you guys do know somebody that might want a nice little Audi, let me know. I'll send the link into the description below. You can check out the car. Maybe you guys can help, but I kind of need to sell this car. However, a good thing is we are selling t-shirts. We have a website. Thank you so much to Robert Hunt for all your um, 
patience and perseverance doing the website. You've done a wicked job. If anybody wants to go see it, there's this really awesome 3D tour of the bus. You can get in the bus and walk around it like Google Maps. Head to madeontheroad.co.uk. Also on there, you've probably seen quite a few of us wearing the merch in these videos by now. You can go and look at those. But if any of you have any other ideas on maybe how we can raise some cash, it is actually quite a big concern of mine. I don't want to talk too much about it and I'm constantly trying to drum up ideas. And maybe that's even like you guys wanting to join the trip in Europe and you want a little holiday break and you want to chip in like 100 quid. 100 pound goes 400 miles. So if any of you guys have any ideas, do let me know. I am worried about it, but like I said, I don't want to openly worry about it too much, but I do want to let you know. I want to keep you guys in the loop of exactly what's going on, what's going on in my head and how the tour's going. So you might be seeing some vlogs in the future where I'm stranded with no cash, can't go anywhere, and then we need to problem solve that. Day four was the biggest writing session we've had on the bus so far. There was five of us in the session and everybody's actually coming back today. So today's Tuesday when I'm filming this so that I have time to edit it and get it out for you tomorrow. But we wrote a song that I wasn't expecting to write. So amongst that mix, Andy is like a disco house funk producer. Joe is like a stunning guitar player and singer doing like, he does like jazz kind of stuff. He's like a male Nora Jones. And then we had Isaac Lewis and myself uh, doing kind of like the pop, soul, R&B kind of side of things. And the track that actually came together and happened, I mean, I'll, I'll play you a slip it, slip it. <laughs> Super happy and actually I think it marries the, the the styles of the five musicians really beautifully. It's day four and we've got three songs like well und underway already. In six months time am I going to have like 50 tracks that I'm going to have to somehow put out. Which leads me on to the next week. So every week I'm trying to share with you video clips of the musicians that are going to be joining me in the following week because I want to plug everybody that's going to be on the album so that you guys can go and scout them out, check their Instagrams out, see what they're up to before they come onto the bus so that when you see them, you're already familiar with, with who they are, what they do. Run away, they say, no one will love you as you are. Well, I finally found the wrong in you. Love is if you don't want to call a million times, yeah. Kukumba. Vitamins, minerals, very high number, silica, here and near get longer. Other vitamins make your bones them stronger. Anti wrinkle make you look younger. Now I finally found someone that I need. Mind is tight as are your hands, but my heart is right. Thank you for the comments on last week's video. Grace Pashley, thank you. Are so excited. Let's go! I can't wait to see you in Brighton. George K, who I believe is in Netherlands, maybe in Germany. He said he's going to put some CDs in the goodie bag, which is great. Thank you so much for your comment, buddy. Uh, Sue D. Sue died. Thank you. So that, her name's actually Sue died. It wasn't. <laughs> she says, I've got merch too. I am so happy you love your merch. Thank you so much for contributing. You're helping me literally get from A to B. <laughs> awesome. Thank you to everyone that came and joined on the bus. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you next week. Keep supporting each other guys. It's amazing to see this community growing of musicians, creatives. Stay safe, look after each other and remember, never stop creating. Bye.